In today's video, I'll be showing you the quickest and easiest way to start using GitHub REST API. This API allows you to retrieve all sorts of data regarding your GitHub account. To begin, go ahead and go to this URL that I have in my address bar. Uh, I'll make sure to also include a link in the description, or you can go ahead and just Google GitHub REST API. Once you've done that, you should see a screen similar to this or a page. Uh, go ahead and click on Guides. And here, click the very first option. It says Getting Started with the REST API. And once you're on this page, you can see that this briefly goes over how the API works. And then go ahead and scroll down until you see this curl command. And then go ahead and copy the API call here. And in this example, I'll be using Postman to make these API calls just because I think it will be the easiest to follow along with. So to begin, go ahead and download Postman if you haven't already. And once you successfully download Postman, go ahead and open it and you should see a screen very similar to this. And for the first thing, make sure over here in the top left it says get because we're going to be making a get API call. And afterwards, go ahead and paste the API call that we copied from the GitHub documentation. But for the very last part of the API call, go ahead and replace it with your GitHub username. So I'll go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, go ahead and click send. And now you should see data back from the GitHub API call. And if everything has gone right, you should see something very similar to what I'm seeing. And now you successfully made your very first GitHub API call. And so this call specifically just retrieves all of the public GitHub information about your uh, GitHub profile. So if you scroll down, you should start seeing like all these like URLs relating to like your GitHub followers, the people you follow, and etc. And also things like you know your the number of public repos you have. And so this uh, GitHub API call is very useful if you're just trying to retrieve public information about anyone's GitHub profile. However, you probably noticed that. This just gives you only the public information about your GitHub profile. So for example, it just shows just the number of public repos you have. However, if you have private repos as well, uh, it's not gonna show that. So you might be wondering if there's a way to do that, and there actually is a way. If we go back to the documentation, and we click on the authentication over here on the right hand side. Um, it'll actually show us how we can generate something called a personal access token. And this will allow us to get back a more detailed response from the GitHub API as we will be acting as an authenticated user. So in order to generate a personal access token, go ahead and log into your GitHub account. Once you're on the GitHub homepage, go ahead and click on the top right of your profile icon and go ahead and click settings. Once you're in settings, go ahead and scroll down to developer settings and then click the tab that says personal access token. And here we can generate all of the personal access tokens that we need. So go ahead and click the button that says generate new token. And here you can see all the details surrounding the personal access token we're going to create. So the very first thing is just a name. So I'll go ahead and just name it like Postman API calls. And here the expiration, you can go ahead and set it to whatever you would like. I'm just gonna do seven days for this example. So on September 21st, this will expire and will no longer work uh, once the seven days is up. And then for the next section, you can go ahead and select the scopes or the type of data that you'll allow this uh, personal access token to make. So in this example, I'm just going to select repo. Um, however, if you want to select this other uh, types of data, you can go ahead and do that. And once you're done, go ahead and click generate token. And now, once you successfully generate your own token, you should see the screen box. Go ahead and copy this personal access token because once you uh, close out the screen, you won't be able to access again. So now we successfully generated a personal access token. The next API call we'll be making will be to show all of the repos that we currently have for our GitHub user, even if they're private. So we can go ahead and start looking for the documentation by going back to the uh, GitHub REST API documentation. And on the left-hand side, we will see an option that says references. Go ahead and scroll down and then click on repositories and just let it load. And once it's done loading, we can then uh, just like look through the documentation to, s to list out all the repositories for authenticated users. So if we go on the right hand side, there is an option that says list repositories for the authenticated user. And so this will be the API call that we're going to make. So here you can go ahead and read more details about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Postman. And here, go ahead and just copy and paste this um, API call into the box for Postman and make sure it says get because we're still making a get request. However, in the authorization tab, go ahead and change it from, um, I believe will be inherit auth from parent, but go ahead and change it to bearer token. And once you've done that, there's a spot for you to input a token and go ahead and paste the uh, generated token that we got from the previous step, uh, just like I've done so here. And once you've done that, go ahead and click send. And now if you've done everything successfully, you should see a screen very similar to mine. You should get a response back from the server. And if you remember from earlier, I had two public repos. So if we scroll down, um, you can see this is my first public repo, like the Hello World repo. And if I scroll down to my second repo, this is like the GitHub website uh, I had. 
So that's my second repo. However, if we scroll down some more, you will now see a third repo, uh, which is like something I just called my private repo, and I purposely marked as private. And so this did not show up in the previous API call because that was only for public uh, GitHub data. However, now they're using a personal access token. Now I can access like more detailed uh, data about my own GitHub account. So this was my quick tutorial on how to start using the GitHub REST API. If you want to make other kinds of GitHub API calls, go ahead and just look through the documentation and you can find uh, lots of different uh, GitHub data that you're able to access. So if this video helped you in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe.